Hello everyone, hope you are having a good day. My name is Kit Tan. Welcome to my channel. I am in Betong, in the southernmost uh, city of this uh, Yala province of uh, Thailand. In fact, I have just uh, arrived here from the uh, border between uh, Malaysia and Thailand where I cross over from the uh, Pangkalan Hulu immigration into this uh, Betong city here. So I've just uh, checked in into the hostel and uh, have a walk about uh, just now. And I uh, come across this uh, one of the uh, dessert uh, shop here in uh, at the edge of this uh, Betong city here. So I'm going to check out uh, two different uh, Thai desserts here and uh, let's uh, take a look at these uh, two Thai desserts here so let's take a look at the interior of this uh, dessert shop here in uh, this uh, downtown uh, Betong city here has uh, quite a number of uh, collections of uh, antique stuff or the uh, old stuff here as you can see so this I believe is the name of the dessert shop and then you can see the uh, one of the old uh, bicycle decoration there and you can see the uh, old style basket here Some collections of uh, old glasses there. So this is the old style uh, stool thing. This is the overall interior of this uh, dessert shop in Letong. Quite an interesting uh, decoration here. It's not only the good dessert that they serve. So you can see this first one here. So this is the uh, cold dessert here with the broken ice there, the shaved ice or the broken ice. All right. So this is the uh, the ginkgo with the shredded uh, coconut meat there. So you can see there. It's quite a generous portion of the. Uh, Ginkgo there, you can see, and then these are the shredded uh, coconut meat here. And uh, I've ordered the uh, cold version of this uh, ginkgo with the uh, shredded uh, coconut. So let's check out how it tastes like. And uh, the second one here. This is the special uh, Thai dessert here. This is also the cold version of the uh, uh, Thai dessert here. You can see there's a variety of uh, items inside here. There's this uh, salted egg yolk here. Alright, there is uh, multiple other items here. There are some uh, coconut uh, meat as well. Alright, and uh, there are this, uh, I'm not sure what you uh, call this, there's some variety of uh, items here as well inside this uh, bowl of uh, Thai desserts here. So it seems to be like the uh, small size uh, mochi there. 
right the red color the small size uh, plain mochi there so we're going to taste this one as well and see uh, how it tastes like so i'm going to check out this uh, thai desserts here and see how it tastes like the first one here this is the ginkgo with the shredded coconut uh, meat here yeah? let's see uh, how it tastes like It's uh, sweet. The coconut meat is uh, fresh there, and the ginkgo. The ginkgo is tender. It's not too soft. It's just nice there. The texture of the ginkgo. So overall, yeah, this is a very good uh, Thai dessert there. The uh, ginkgo with the coconut. It's very sweet, it's uh, savory, and the texture of the, the coconut uh, meat there, it's, uh, it's very fresh, it's tender, as well as the ginkgo, it's very tender as well. And yeah, you really feel refreshing here. Even though the weather is not hot now, it's uh, basically it's about uh, 15 minutes to 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. to be exact, local time here in Thailand. But it's just refreshing here because I've just uh, arrived uh, from uh, Malaysia as well in the Pangkalanggulu border. Yeah, this is one of the best or good Thai desserts that I ever had in uh, Thailand. It's sweet and savory, yeah. Mm -hmm. Check out this uh, second bowl of this Thai dessert here. Now you can see this one here. This is the coconut milk base Thai dessert with the salted egg yolk and then you have some uh, coconut uh, meat there as well and then you have this uh, this bua loy in thai just now that i said is the uh, mochi of the thai version mochi which is made from the glutinous rice as well as the uh, taro 
So let's uh, check out how this uh, Thai dessert tastes like. There's a very strong coconut milk flavor to it. Now this uh, glutinous rice ball, it's uh, not too gooey. It tastes uh, slightly, the texture was just good. It's not too gooey and when you bite on it, it's chewy. Yeah, this is a very good texture of a glutinous rice ball or this uh, mochi here. This is the Gualoi, they call it in Thai. The texture is very chewy. It's not too gooey. But it won't stick on your tooth or your teeth. This is the uh, coconut meat together with the uh, glutinous rice ball as I mentioned earlier the coconut meat is uh, it's tender, it's fresh it's good So let's check out the uh, egg yolk, the salted egg yolk. The salted egg yolk texture is good as well. It's not uh, too soft, it's not gooey. That's a very tender texture to it. And of course, it uh, adds the saltiness to this uh, this uh, sweet dessert here, which I believe or I feel is quite good here. Has a very it has a very uh, right mixture there between the sweetness and the saltiness of it. It blends into it quite well. Dessert shop here in uh, Betong also provides the this traditional tea cup here. So it's uh, provided with the uh, tea as well. So you can drink the tea to wash it down after you have finished up with the dessert. Now this is the uh, Chinese tea which is provided for free. It's 
a very nice uh, taste to this uh, Chinese tea here. Not sure what kind of tea it is, but it has a very refreshing taste. Just good to uh, gush it down after you having the uh, sweetness from the Thai dessert earlier. I hope you enjoy watching this Thai dessert series in this uh, Betong city of the Yala province of Thailand. Please uh, remember to uh, subscribe to my channel if you find this uh, interesting and also please give me a thumbs up on my video if you find that this is uh, interesting to you. And thank you very much uh, for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.